So this morning started with us doing a photo shoot for a new magazine being published up at 4.45 in order to get sunrise. And then uh, Mike was like, hey Kevin, let's, I have an idea. And whenever Mike says, hey Kevin, I have an idea, it's like, yeah, I just, I never know what to expect to be honest, never know what to expect. And so he's like, anything going this morning? I'm like, well, kinda, forget about it and let's go do this, this thing, this idea that I have. So I'm like, okay, let's give it a shot, see what we come up with. They're probably like, what the Sam Hill is this? You'll find out here soon. We're scaling, we're scaling, folks. Yeah, get it open, get it open. Dude, look at that color. I like the colors. Do you do fungicide on your beans and corn? No, I never have. You never have? Cool, so that's what I'm finding out. Uh, local farmers here aren't really using it because there wasn't a good way to apply it. They've never applied fungicides, ever. Yeah, that is crazy. I stopped, he's like, yep, I wanna do it. Yeah. So I'm a local, I grew up on a farm, but never really was into farming. And now I can I see how this technology could help you guys. Yep, he would do it. So this is my other company. I use thermal imaging drones to locate carcasses of uh, hunters that have lost their deer and can't find. How many acres do you farm? Um, with hay, it's probably it's 400. Nice. 50 maybe. Yeah. How much do you have in corn? 240. Nice. So here's the deal. He is farming 470 some acres. He is averaging about 170 to 190 bushels per acre of corn. Yeah. If we can bump him to 240, 250. It's a big deal. You know, these fields that we have around here are too small for airplanes or helicopters, so the drones really work. So the good thing about that is you can still spray it, get fantastic coverage with the drone. Yeah. Whereas helicopter or anything else, you would your coverage would be crap. Dude, but you'd be like perfect to see if it actually works, right? Yeah, like, we could. But yeah. hey, I'd be I'd be interested if you'd be interested. Yeah, so. yeah I am. I'll call it Melbourne once. He said yes, I would do that. But I said I would apply it to, for your farm to see. I, I want to see, you know, we got to do that testing thing. Yeah, yeah. And he said, yeah, I'd do that. Yeah. He has no idea who I am. Yeah, I'd do that. Okay. That the chemical is, you know, whatever, let's say it's four ounces per acre or whatever. Our application rate, the ideal rate for the drone, is 2.8 gallons of total solution per acre, is what we're putting out. That's the first farmer I talked to. Yeah about doing it and he's like yeah let's do it yeah. and then he's gonna call his farmer friend yeah. and he's gonna be like hey i found these drone guys and then they're gonna so everywhere we go just like cornfield after cornfield after cornfield I mean, this is. I mean, this is where we live. I, I never really realized that there's yeah, so I never much, realized it. so much farmland. But yep. when you actually look at it, it's like right there. It, yeah, it's nuts. Eleven left. Eleven left. Look at this right here. You see this damage right there? You see how it's laid over? So when you apply, when you apply fungicide makes the stock of the crop stronger so it can withstand the elements better because when it lays down like that it's hard to get as good of a harvest and so you know you're spraying for fungicide to produce a better yield but you're also trying to make the the crop itself stronger to withstand mother nature that was your tip of the day from mike yoder at drone deer recovery crop spray I'm gonna to try to explain this in a, in a way that you guys can understand of why these drones are going to be critical for these crops. You see this big cornfield here? You got one section right here and you got another section on the other side of that creek. But what you got is you got one, two, three power lines. This power line cutting the field down like this and another one cutting it like this. You would never want to use a helicopter or an airplane to spray that on a small field like this because your application is just not going to be worth it. But what we're going to do with the drones is this gets split up in a bunch of different fields. So 
it, it is one field, but in the database, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, five little fields for these two fields to not hit these power lines. So it'll be like five different sections out of the two fields. Correct. And then uh, you won't spray right under the power lines, but immediately on both sides. Yeah, but you'll get coverage underneath the power lines because we'll, we'll butt that boundary right to the power line and the drone will come to there, go around, and you'll get that overlay from both sides. How accurate are these drones? It's within uh, eight centimeters accuracy for your boundary lines. And then our goal is to get your spray, you know, right, right on the boundary that we're creating. But yeah, this is a perfect example of, you know, getting more yield out of your small field. Basically right now we're just going down, planting some yard signs, educating people on it. And I was just talking to Kevin here about how fields like this are perfect for drones because you would not spray this normally with an airplane or a helicopter because of the power lines but these are ideal for us. We'd split it up in sections. I just added up, I think this is about a 10 acre with this six acres and maybe that's four acres right there, that corn. I basically just asked them right now, how many uh, acres is this? They said, this is six acres and the one on the other side is seven acres. So that's 13 acres right here. So we do uh, drone applicating. Basically we spray fungicides on corn and beans and stuff. Okay, so we're talking here, right? I was telling you guys about how this this is going to change the uh, the industry. Farmer pulls up right here right now and we start chatting and they're like, yep, sign us up. Yep, we want to do this back corner. But uh, I was just looking at the fields here. Did, have you guys ever sprayed fungicide? No? They don't even know anything about the chemical. They don't, they just know they want to increase their yield. He's like, well, what's the chemical called? Yeah. I have no idea. If you do a fungicide application on your corn, how much more you would get for a 10 acre plot. It's pretty crazy, but. That fungicide's that active. Dude, it's not. So in Indiana, we're gonna be doing about 70 to 100,000 acres. Between 16 and 20% bump in their yield. Bushels per acre is like 180. They're averaging 220 to 230 per acre by applying the fungicides on their crop. Okay, 40 bushels per acre times 10. That's $2,400. Just that small piece. Just in 10 acres, really. Yeah. Yeah, they have 100 acres of corn right now. That's $24,000. $24,000, and their cost of applying will be about $40 uh, an acre. So they're costing 400 bucks to make 2,400 bucks here. A $2,000 profit. We don't want to get carried away, right? We'll probably bleep that out, but that's what they've been seeing. Yeah. So once we actually apply for you guys, but we'd be willing to work with farmers just to do sections of your crop, what I'd like to see is like if you want to do this field and not that field, that would tell us actually how much you're getting on. Um, but normally we're $17 an acre. That's to apply the chemical. You would, you know, buy the chemical. If he would want to, I would send a drone out. I would not charge you guys the, just the test plot, right? Like you, you cover the chemicals and then we'll do the test plot for you, basically fly the drone. And then we'd want your feedback of what did you average you know, on that whatever section we're. So basically we were interrupted uh, by the farmer, pulled up, just perfect timing. We started talking to him about drone application and fungicides and that type of thing. Very interested in doing it on his fields. We're here to help him and that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna keep planting signs and we'll wrap it up. Okay, that's the last one for today. I think that's uh, 50 of them. That's all we're doing for today, folks made contact with two farmers who weren't even trying, driving down the road. They want on. They believe that it's gonna help their yield. And it's just, it's just nuts. Oh my gosh, it's over. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.